1935, one man's diary changed how we think about the atmosphere. The atmosphere, like ogres, like onions, is made of layers. We live in the bottom layer called the troposphere, where the weather changes all the time and it's largely forced by differences between land and sea, hot spots and cold spots. The next layer up, though, the stratosphere, has very different weather. Here, weather systems are enormous, like the size of continents, and they change very slowly usually. The stratosphere was only discovered in 1902, and it was originally thought that it just flowed from east to west all the time. But in 1935, a diary was presented to the Royal Meteorological Society of London of a Mr. Miller Christie of Chelmsford in England. During the First World War, Mr. Christie wrote down every day whether he could hear the guns on the Western Front over in England. And in summer, he could, but in winter, he couldn't. That was weird, because if the wind in the stratosphere always blew from east to west, it would carry the sound of gunfire with it. Mr. Christie's diary suggested that the wind in the middle atmosphere changed direction with the seasons, which it turned out to do, a discovery that was only made with one man's diary and just a little bit of genius analysis.